So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another rebuild. And today we're gonna be doing it with the New Orleans Pelicans and of course Anthony Davis. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure you go ahead and like it up and of course subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see and whether you guys want to see a realistic rebuild or not, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and just who we should be doing it with, guys. And if you guys missed my last one, make sure you go ahead and check it out. I'll put it in the top right hand corner as well as in the description below. But like I said, man. We got the Pelicans, and first things first, we're not trading away Anthony Davis. He's going nowhere. Uh, he's locked up for three more seasons, it says. So we have him, and I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be losing him. And Drew Holiday is somebody that I would like to keep, but if his overall does go down, I probably will move him. I like Julius Randle. We'll see if we hang on to him. And, I mean, other than that, I guess we can just try to make this team as good as we possibly can. Of course, um, the only problem with this is that Julius Randle... After this year, we would not be able to re-sign him because, you know, wait, he, he has a player option, right? I believe he has a player option. Yeah, he has a player option. And he's going to always decline that. And since it's not like real life, we probably would not be able to keep him. So I do want to try to move him just because, you know, I want to actually have a good power forward there. So let's see what we can actually get for him. But other than that, I'm not looking to make any really crazy moves this first year. Like I said, man... This one is not supposed to be realistic, but I'm not trying to go out there and sign Kevin Durant and do the same things that I, that I normally do. We're going to try to make this thing as fun as possible. We could look at bringing back Buddy Heald. And that might just be the move. Not going to lie to you, just because at least Buddy's better than like absolutely nothing. I mean, if we, if we, if we really wanted to, we could try to just win with this team right now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that either, but let's just see if, if we can make a trade for Julius Randle. If there's anything good, we'll take it. If there's not, I mean, I don't really mind hanging on to him. It's not like we're really going to be losing much, but I would just prefer if we could actually, like, you know, trade him for at least something. All right, so this might be the trade. So Julius Randle and Solomon Hill with a second round pick for Hassan Whiteside. This trade wouldn't be as bad if they included in Buddy Hill just, just, just because Willie Call Hassan is really good and young. But since we can't do that, I mean, with the Hassan Whiteside move, we get to play Davis back at power forward, and we clear up cap room as well. Yeah, I don't really care about that second round pick, or we're taking that offer. And I like that because our front court, that just makes our, our front court even more lethal, to be honest. And then off the bench, we're going to have uh, Peyton, Oka Four. Like, the Pelicans are just in a weird state because they can't really tank. So, I mean, let's just see, man. They can't really tank, but they aren't good enough to really win anything either. And with our next trade, we're going to be trading away Alfred Payton, Ian Clark, and a top three protected first round pick in return for Spencer Dinwiddie and Shabazz Napier. Now, I feel like that just, I feel like that trade just helps us out overall. And what we're going to do with that, I'm, I'm playing Drew as shooting guard. And I think that that's going to help us out because we still got a great point guard in Spencer Dinwiddie. And we got Shabazz coming off the bench, which honestly helps us in every single possible way. So right now, the lineup for this season, I might as well go ahead and uh, make Miritic a full-on small forward. He was a, he's, he's the exact same overall. So for this year's lineup, it's going to be Spencer Dimwitty, Drew Holiday, Nikola Miritic, AD, and the Sun Whiteside. Not to mention, we got Jamal Crawford, Shabazz Napier, each one more, Jaleel. And I guess we can still find a backup power forward and a backup small forward if we can just find those we honestly should be good and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be taking this trade for mo wagner and travis Ware. other than that i'm i'm honestly good with everything that we're doing with this team i think that this team is gonna be a lot better than they would have and i don't think that any of the trades were really all that crazy um all right that's what we're gonna be doing off the bench mo wagner's playing yeah, this is the best lineup that we can that we can possibly put together so off the bench is gonna be Sha so off the bench is gonna be Shabazz Napier, Jamal Crawford, Darius Miller, Mo Wagner, and Jaleel Okafor. You guys already know the starting lineup. Where do they have us ranked though? They said that we're buying. Power rankings, they have us 10th. Let's see what this team can actually do this season. Of course, Anthony Davis, he's no more, he's the number one scoring option. Let's just see if Alvin Gentry can actually lead us to a good playoff seating. And hopefully we actually make the playoffs because we honestly might not. And at the end of season number one, Steph Curry walks away with the MVP. And we already know 
everything's exactly the same but anthony davis does win defense player of the year as he puts up 26.4 points a game 13 rebounds and 2.3 blocks while shooting 50 percent from the field and 37 percent from the three so we definitely took a w uh in that aspect we went 43 and 39 so at least we had a like positive record ad makes all nba first team and that should be the only player that we actually get of course he's our defensive first team and uh, yeah that's all we had now this season <laughs> we didn't make the playoffs <laughs> because we're in the west but i mean this was still a very good team and we finished as the ninth seed like right outside the playoffs and we just lost the tiebreaker to the san antonio spurs but we should be good man i mean we still got a great team Hassan white so we're probably gonna be moving him uh he he has one year left on his contract or this is last year of his contract so we can bring him back and just trade him but he did really really well for us 17 points 14 rebounds two blocks drew holiday was, was good as well everybody was really good so all we gotta do is just focus on bringing back the exact same team and just make some minor improvements which i think is definitely possible but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and predict that the raptors win the championship as they always do in the first season and i'll see you guys in the off season because we gotta make some moves and the warriors win the nba championship boogie is finals mvp come on let's get straight into the draft lottery draft lotto we have the 14th pick we could actually get a steal with that pick alvin gentry cool on you chief um let's try to bring in somebody else I would like to bring in Pop, to be honest. If we could bring in Popovich, that would be great. If we can't get him, I'll just go ahead and put and pick up somebody else. But for right now, I'm going to try to give the whole bag to Popovich, if that's possible. We get Pop, which is definitely a W for us. We missed out on our assistant coach, but there's a bunch of them there. Uh, let's use the same dude. At least we got Popovich. Like, I, I never can really get Pop. There we go. Let's get straight into the NBA draft. Let's see who we can get. Uh... Ooh, who are we projected to even be getting with, with that 14th pick? Nas Reed or Quentin Grimes. Let's just see who's there. If it's something that we don't like, we can just go ahead and make a trade. But normally, there's a there's a good player that falls to that draft spot. Nas Reed is still there. We can get uh, Charles Bassey. Uh, Luka Semantic. Nah, I'm not, I'm not getting Luka, though. All right, so with this one, we're going to go Nas Reed or Charles Bassey. I might be going Charles Bassey, to be honest. But what's this pick worth if we were to trade it away the 14th pick and each one more we could get quentin grimes and kelly olenick and grimes went 11th that might be the better move to be honest because oh wait what's grimes he's 76 they're both 76s this one we get a first round pick as well I don't know, man. I like getting first round picks, so that might actually be the better move. All right, how, how many badges though? How many badges do you have? You got five. Which ones though? Limitless range, all that is cool. Shoot, I, I get a bad contract. You got four. I don't know about that one, dog. Yeah, and you guys are both shooting guards, right? You're a point guard. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one. Uh, yeah. There we go. I like that move a lot. So let's go ahead and let's him to the to the end of the draft. We got Romeo Langford. I think that was definitely a W on our part. Uh, who, do, who do they even take? They they made a they made a bad pick. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sign Romeo Langford. And Hassan Decline is cool. We're probably going to be bringing him back and just trading him. So it doesn't really matter. Qualifying offers. We don't have any. Let's get in free agency. Let's just bring back Hassan Whiteside, man. Or if we can get Boogie. I'm not nah, I'm not gonna bring back De Demarcus Cousins. He left us, man. He he left us for not bringing him back. Alright, let's try to get back. Um dang, he, he got three offers. And, and I'm trying to win now. Not like in the future. But right now, I can get Devin Booker. But he makes more. I'm trying to save money. Oladipo is seven million less. He's younger. I don't mind that. Getting Draymond just makes no sense. All right, let me see something. Um, if I was to include Jackson, those offers get any better? Honestly, about the same.
We can get Brandon Ingram and Josh Hart. That's not terrible. I mean, <laughs> but then we we'd be getting Chris Middleton as well, which would honestly equal, that would level everything out. I don't want Blake. Booker is the best. Like, cause I'm trying to save money as well, so I, I got to think about that. All right, so let me just think about this. So if I was to do the Brandon Ingram one, we'll still. All right, so our point guard would end up being you, shooting guard. That's not that bad, and we improve at small forward. I mean, I really like Drew Holiday. I really do, but I'm like, <laughs> all right, let me let me also throw in first round pick. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm taking this deal. Um, because that is the best deal that I have ever seen, and he's on a rookie contract, so yeah, um, I've never gotten an offer for Ben Simmons, so, Drew Holiday, Frank Jackson, uh, first round and a second round for Zaire Smith and Ben Simmons, yeah, I've never seen that trade happen before, and let me show you guys my settings, nothing Fugazi's going on here, bruh, we literally just traded for freaking Ben Simmons, yeah, we don't need you. Um, I'm dog. I hope it. I hope it lets me get. Um, I hope it lets me get Miritic or uh, Chris Middleton. Dog. Oh my goodness. That they hold. They hold me. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We got everybody else back. Um, let me still try to get Miritic if he still lets me, cause I, I renounced him. Where's he at? All right, I, I can just offer him a contract. So let's try to bring him in. Who else can we offer? Isaiah Thomas, wouldn't mind doing that. And we can also look at getting Scary Terry. Miritic is mulling his offers, don't know what he's doing. I'm not announcing that. Uh, Isaiah Thomas would be nice. <laughs> we, we, we And we just signed Isaiah as well. Yo, this team is looking extra OP. This team is about to be insane. So, we're going to be doing a lineup. Ben Simmons be playing point guard. Shooting guard is going to be... We still need to find a shooting guard. We already got... We have a power forward and center. Or Ben Simmons plays a small forward. It doesn't really matter. But we have a lot of options with this team now. So I can bring back Miritic if it will it even let me like sign him? It says it's going it, it allowed me to sign him so I mean we, we got that locked up too. All right, yeah, this team is about to be extra OP. All right, let's try to trade Isaiah Thomas, man. Like I really like I really like Isaiah Thomas, but if we can like move him for something else, you know, I'm going to try to go ahead and do that. Um what's here? Or can I, I, can I finesse this and get Drew Holiday back? That might be the way to go, to be honest. Let's see if we can finesse this, man. We might be able to, to be honest. We might just be able to. Alright, hold on. Shabazz Napier. Stop it. Fucking stop. That shit is not funny. I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot for Drew Holiday anyways. Alright, well, well, what we can do, I like Isaiah Thomas as a six man. Uh, do I like him more than Dimwitty? Dim Dimwitty's also cheaper as well. So, come on, my nigga. What if we threw in that protected first round pick as well? We can get Lori, Jonathan Isaac, Dennis Smith Jr. to run that point guard position. We're still gonna need it, we're most likely gonna need a shooting guard. That's our biggest position of need is at shooting guard. So if we can bring one of those guys in, that would be great. Booker is somebody that I would like to bring in. I probably won't be able to, but I'm definitely gonna try. With that exception, how far are we? Two million? All right, who do you guys want? Um, Zaire Smith. 
Another first. That won't work. Honestly, at this point, we might as well take this trade just so that we get some leverage because I honestly could not find any trade for Isaiah Thomas as my game. If you guys have been watching for a long time, you guys know that 2K19 crashes so many freaking times. Like, I don't know what's up with this game. So we might as well go ahead and do this trade since we can't find any trade for Isaiah Thomas that gives us a shooting guard. So we might as well just go ahead and do that. Move right there. Uh, but other than that, can I flip Lori? And that's, that's really why I got him. Can I flip Lori and get, a, and get a shooting guard? Or get somebody who can play shooting guard at a high level? All right, Jamal Murray. Eh? That's interesting, but I mean, I really don't want to do that as well. All right. What about we throw in... We, we just give the same deal to somebody else. All right. None of these are like it, to be honest. Like, these are all like just bad trades, to, just to say the least. The, the, these are all just terrible trades. All right. Mm, all right. We don't need Mo Wagner anymore, to be honest. So, what's he worth? Him and Roberson. Nothing. You know what? We'll figure out this lineup whenever the time comes. Uh, is there anybody else in free agency that we want to get? Mirror tick. Let's just make sure to bring him back. Um. Any shooting guards there? Most likely, I'm trading whoever I get. But yeah, Alec Burks. You'll be the perfect trade asset. Let's head into training camp, man. But we got Ben Simmons this, this off season. Our depth on this team is going to be ridiculous. We should be able to win a championship by the end of this season. Not like we honestly should not even need a third season. We should be winning one this second season because our team is ridiculous. All right. So training camps, Ben Simmons. <laughs> yeah, you and me both know that you need to go to shooting camp. Um, Next up, we're going to go ahead and have. Let's do combo guard for Langford. And we should be good to go. They want Ben Sim They want Ben Simmons to be the sixth man because they got him a power forward. We'll go ahead and we'll fix that. All right. Um, we're gonna play Ben Simmons at small forward. He goes up to a freaking ninety-three. <laughs> this should be really fun, man. This should be so fun. But his back position is gonna be point. All right. And so right now it's like this. All right, we could definitely, we need a sh shooting guard. That's our biggest hole is that shooting guard. And I don't want Roberson either. So if we could somehow move him, I would be extremely happy with that. And we finally have a trade. And yes, we give up Lori Markkinen in this trade. Something I really don't want to do, but I mean, Lori is, at the end of the day, he's our backup and we need a shooting guard badly. At that exception, we're gonna go ahead and take that. And we still got Mirita coming off the bench. And Mo Wagner. This is the this is the squad, man. It looks like it's me, Spencer Dimwitty, Devin Booker, Ben Simmons, AD, and the Sun White. So another match we got Nikola Mirotic, Shabazz Napier, Romeo Langford, Jaleel Kofor, and we got Mo Wagner as well. This team is gonna be lit, man. This team is most definitely gonna, gonna be lit. Of course, I still want to see if we can improve at point guard, but if we can't, I'm perfectly okay with the team that we have. Like, I, I really am. This is a really good team we actually have. And I'd be open to playing Ben Simmons at point guard. If we could find a small forward that's not named Carmelo Anthony, I would definitely be be open to actually, like, making a move. Is there anything out, is there, is there, anything out there? You know what? I'm actually cool with, with the team that we got. It's going to be Spencer Dimwitty, Devin Booker, Ben Simmons, AD, and Hassan Whiteside. And uh, the bench, that's what we're going to do with the bench. Shabazz Napier, I'm cool with that. Langford. Mo Wagner's me playing right there. Angelie Okafor. Let's see what this team can actually do. This year, they said that we were actually a contending team. Last year, we were ranked ninth in the power rankings. Now we're ranked number one. This team is completely overpowered. We've, and we got Popovich as well. Let's see what this team can actually do, man. We actually should be able to put up numbers. Hopefully, we are able to finish this thing out with the championship. I think that we are going to be able to. We have the best coach and a stacked roster. So, it should be ours. And at the end of season number two, Giannis wins the MVP. Uh, did AD? Nope. He did not get defense play of the year again. But we did get coached here with Greg Popovich. And we had, as we had the best team in the NBA, we, we went 16 and 22. That's what I'm trying to say. This team was completely overpowered. And 
we had AD on the All-NBA third team. Of course, his numbers went down with Booker, with Ben Simmons, with a lot more scores on this team. And we get anything else. AD also makes all defense a second team. And we had Romeo Langford on all rookies second team. All right, but this team was honestly like amazing. We were the number one seed in the Western Conference. Obviously, 60 wins. Uh, as far as the All-Stars go, um, let me check. I already know that Davis was an All-Star. So it was Ben Simmons. And that's it. Nobody in the dunk contest. Nobody in the three-point contest. Let's look at the stats real quick, though. How do we do numbers-wise? Davis put up 19. Booker with 18. Simmons with 15. Seven assists, nine rebounds. So everybody was great. And I, I honestly keep reading that we got Hassan Wyatt's side. But this team was OP, man. This team was great for us. All right, let's try and let's just win this championship, though, man. This has to be ours. OKC should not be a problem. We won 60 games, and they are the AC for a reason. They should get swept, but hold on, because CK likes to hoe us. And we actually get the sweep. Round two, we're taking on the Houston Rockets, the fifth seed. Once again, if you guys are a low seed, I'm not all that worried. The only team that actually is going to make us, that should give us a challenge in theory, is Dallas or no one, to be honest. And the Hawks were the number one seed in the East. Don't know how I feel about that, but the Rockets get swept as well. Now we got Golden State. Now, Golden State lost Klay Thompson. They lost Klay. What's their lineup, though? It's Steph. Ben Simmons going to kill Steph. Uh, I don't know who the shooting guard is. <laughs> yeah, we got them at point guard, uh, I think, because just because of the size. We got them at shooting guard for sure. Uh, and we got them at center. So we should handle it. And our bench is pretty good as well. So let's see if we can hand them a quick little L. Come on. We take game one. It would be cool if we can go 16 0 in the. Okay, never mind. That was a pipe dream. It's the Warriors. I, I, I forgot about that. We are up 3 1. Stop. Do not lose another game, y'all. And we advance to take on the Toronto Raptors. We take game one. We take game two. We're up 3 0. Let's hop into Simcast because it looks like the New Orleans Pelicans are going to be winning their first NBA championship. And we're getting them up out of here. All right, there's a minute 50 left. ADS 23. Let's just hop in the game. Nobody's fouled out, right? Let's hop in the game because I actually want to get some gameplay with this team. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. First of all, I want the starters in. There we go. I want all the starters in. Okay, do not like this matchup at all. No, Kawhi. Okay, call us a timeout. Like I said, man. I don't need your bad snap here in the game right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to have my guys in. Come on. <clears throat> all right. And, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Hassan White is playing great tonight. Okay, I got it. Oh. Oh, we got to pull that. I should not have pulled that. Come on. Let's just play our game. Let's just play our game. Ben, ben Macklemore. Come on. Clamp up. Nothing too crazy. Good defense, Book. Nope. Nope. Get that board. Pass off to Ben Simmons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ben Simmons almost has a triple-double. Oh, my. Ah, I'm going to get him that triple-double. Give me that. Come on. We're going to get that triple-double. AD. Give me that. Come on, AD. <laughs> we got to get that triple-double for Ben Simmons. <clears throat> Come on. That's got to be in. That's got to be in. Ben Simmons has 19, 10, and 8. We only need two assists. Should be easy to get, to be honest. Watch out. That should be a steal, but it's cool. I was about to say. Come on. Let's speed this game up. Come on. Let's get it. Go up. AD, what? Man, AD's making this difficult. Yeah, we ain't getting nothing. Hold on. Stop. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? Forget about the triple-double because I, I, I feel like Russell Westbrook at the moment. Let's just get the W. I mean, we're going to win because we're by 24 points.
But man, it would have been nice to have actually gotten that man a triple double, but it ain't happening. So we're gonna stop forcing those shots. We had a bunch of chances to actually score with, with Ben Simmons. So next possession, we're just gonna take advantage of that. Come on, De Delon, right? Nope. That's weak, dog. Come on. Come on. Oh wow. Why would you foul me? That's in though. I lied. Man, I, I can't make any kind of shots. All right, but that's gonna go in. It should go in. Well, at the end of the day, man, we take the victory, an easy victory, and the Pelicans were NBA champions. Right outside. And they've done it for new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. And at the end of this, we were NBA champions, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. Let me know what you guys enjoyed about it. And if we should do a realistic one, because this team was great, man. Ben Simmons was the finals MVP. He averaged 16.8 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, and 5.7 assists. And it looks like he made a three. So, I mean, that's always a great thing. Our final roster was, of course, Anthony Davis. We had Ben Simmons, Devin Booker, Hassan Whiteside, Spencer Dimwitty, Nikola Miritic, Shabazz Napier, Romeo Langford, Jaleel Okafor got a ring. That's crazy. Mo Wagner, Raymond Felton, Max Kleber, Klebler, whatever, and Gary Temple, Joe Johnson. This team was lit, man. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I still can't believe that we actually got Ben Simmons. That's never, that never, ever happens, man. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.